and action. wonderful thing. Basically everyone has played a game these days, but how will it evolve? Will more people become gamers? Or will people stop gaming to do other things? Well, currently gaming is growing strong. Right now there are over 1.2 billion people playing video games worldwide. Of those 1.2 billion, 46% are female and 54% are male. In the future, I am expecting this number to grow. Phones will become stronger gaming platforms, and older phones will become cheaper, making those a good source of gaming for people with less money. At the moment, games are looking very good. They are almost lifelike. But in 30 years, I'd expect them to look like you are literally in the place. In 30 years, there might be a holodeck allowing you to literally enter the place where you're gaming from the safety and comfort of your bedroom. New characters will be created and old characters might still continue to give thrills, excitement and happiness to all who lo love them. Consoles will get much greater as well. They will give us better graphics, better sound and better, well, everything. One day we might even have a pocket sized Xbox which we can pull out whenever we want and play Halo 37. In basic, I think that gaming is only going to get better. The games, consoles, how we use them, graphics, sounds and fans will only continue to grow in quality and quantity. I am very excited for the future and just can't wait for the next Elder Scrolls game. What types of advertisement are we to expect to see in the future? When I say types, I mean billboards and TV ads. I think there could be ads personalised for you, or recommended and directly put onto your TV or computer. But what should you re really expect in the next 10 years? <laughs> in the next 10 years, we could have intriguing new technology, so more advertisement opportunities, and we could have virtual workspaces where more is possible and easy to store. Ads could be something like this. Work at home and be at your office at the same time, where more is possible and easier to store and you can work with friends. No girl, links you to the virtual world, your new best friend. Superman on See what I mean? That doesn't need, need to be, to be on the TV. TV. You could just you pop could up on personal view. view. A glasses-like design that gives you a personal view of what you want by creating holograms for you and you only. Again, this could appear anywhere in the future. Let's say you're in a home bar. You could have ads about different types of beverages to buy very well. But I just recommend you a bar to your friends or family. <laughs> That's what to expect in the next 10 years. But what other possibilities are there? What other possibilities are there that are unlimited ten years? You could have giant floating billboards orbiting planets, or a light show carved into a moon, say, to buy a product. That would be very far into the future, though. There's also the possibility that are unlimited ten years. You could have giant floating billboards orbiting planets, or a light show carved into a moon, say, to buy a product. That would be very far into the future, though. There's also the possibility that ads would die out. TV can be recorded now, so you can skip ads. Some TV stations don't have ads, so they can just attract more people. So ads might die out and people find another way to attract people in, because the human race adapts and changes. So more things we just leave behind to find new, better things. But also ads could be greater, larger, and better. But who knows for sure? But we are the ones that are shaping the future, so in a way, it's your choice. Change. Assuming microprocessor manufacturers can continue to live up to Moore's law, the processing powers of computers should double every two years. This would mean computers in 30 years from now would be 536,870,912 times more powerful than the current models. That's hard to imagine. 
We may get around that barrier by building larger processor chips with more transistors. But transistors create heat, and a hot processor can cause a computer to shut down. So computers with faster processors need efficient cooling systems to avoid overheating. The larger the processor chip, the more heat the computer will generate when working at full speed. Technology will continue to evolve. Every year we are amazed and surprised at how technology has evolved. We think we are on the cutting edge, but then we push the envelope even further and are able to improve. Take, for instance, the iPhone. It seems as if a phone can only go as far as it currently has, but anything from colours of the phone or the shape of the phone can be altered. Here are a few new things that technology will aid us to do in the next 30 to 50 years. Colonise the moon. On the next moon landing, 2.0, there are plans to use the moon's resources to start colonising the moon so that humans are able to live there. Go on quantum computers. The revolution of the computer brings us to the quantum computer, which has been making progress and is estimated to hit the market in about 10 to 15 years. Keep in mind that the quantum computer could factor a large digit number in many hours versus what could take a regular computer's months to years. Live forever. Stem cell research has made some great progress and there could even be a way to decrease deterioration so that we can extend our lifespan. Stem cells are a great prospect for the foreseeable future and will make transplants obsolete as well as many other benefits. Expect a cure for cancer. If you think you're getting a lot of Snapchats nowadays, just imagine the future with over 1 billion more people in the world. Most of these people would probably use a social media site because devices will become cheaper. This would mean more poor people will be able to buy something which would allow them to access the sites. The sites themselves would have massive upgrades. In a few years, we might be able to access Facebook from the fridge or Tumblr from the toilet. These sites would probably be integrated into everything. Almost all games we play in the future will have the option to upload straight to YouTube. That is, if YouTube still exists. The internet will continue to be an amazing, inspirational, funny and sometimes very scary place. In the future, social media might also be the way scientists or governments would use the internet for social experiments or to solve problems. This has happened a few times before but it's said that it's going to happen a lot more in the future. In basic, there will only ever be more people using the sites we love so much. There will be more people taking pictures of their next meal, sitting down for hours a day on Tumblr, or watching a video from their favourite YouTuber. There will be devices to access your Facebook site on just about any object, and the internet will not change very much at all.